starts off the opening statement. A lot of questions for the athletes. Well, yeah, obviously we're a little disappointed with the outcome tonight, but I'm definitely not disappointed in our effort. I thought our guys really competed um, throughout the game. Um, just played a played team that, that played really well. Um, you know, 17 for 17 from the free throw line. They made all of the, um, the, the free throws down the stretch when we were trying to get back, trying to, trying to stretch the game. But give them credit, man. They, they played a good game. We didn't have the performances that we needed to win this game, but, but I thought our guys... Um, as usual, played with the effort and, and, and the toughness that, that, that we expect. Uh, Jordan, um, <coughs> all three games in NIT, not really great three-point shooting games for you guys. Do you think that's just, you know, is that tired legs at the end of the season, or what do you attribute that to? I think we're just missing shots, honestly. And we got our same looks. I mean, felt good coming off our hands, I would guess. So, you know, maybe it is tired legs, but I would never say uh, that was the reason. I just think we missed the shots that we usually make. Uh, Twin, what, what kind of challenges did um, their their center present to you guys? Uh, you know, he did a really good job uh, in the roll, pick and roll. He, when he got there, he was rolling really hard, so it was hard to choose between trying to box him out and cover him, but also get up into Walker. Um, you know, try and get him to not get those shots that he's comfortable with. Um, so just him rolling really hard and just being really physical too was a big challenge for us, you know. Anything else with Sunelis? Yeah, Jordan, um, have you made a decision on next year yet? No, I talked to Coach Stackhouse, talked to my family the next couple of days, and we'll see if we go from there. Coach has talked a lot this season about the steps that this program and this team has taken this season, especially. How would you describe the direction and the step forward you feel this program has taken? I think we took a huge step. Um, you've seen the emergence of Tyron Lawrence. Um, he's become the player that we all know he was capable of. Um, the, the stretch that he's had this since February has been incredible, incredible to watch. Um, Ezra Manion finding his fit, finding his rhythm in, in our offense. And, you know, just the young guys stepping up. Colin Smith, you had Malik Diaz showed his offensive capabilities. Paul Lewis, you know, a lot of guys stepped up and what we needed. And when Liam went down, Q, you know, he does what he does. So, you know, just this team's resiliency, this team's fight, this team's effort. Uh, we never gave up. We always fought um, to the end. Um, you see that this team moving forward with the momentum. Uh, the magic is back. The games that we won down the stretch uh, was incredible. It felt incredible. I thought we were going to do it again tonight. It just feels like when you get to those late games and, and the crowd is into it and the student is into it, it's feel like you can't lose. It didn't go our way tonight, but going forward, I know it will. Quinn, with the steps you guys made throughout the year, how do you evaluate this year as a whole? Uh, you know, I'm really proud of what we've done this year. You know, going into SEC, they had us ranked second from the last. And, you know, we took big steps through throughout our each part of the season. Um, we beat teams that we have never beat before. We finished the highest we've ever finished. Um, I thought we really came together as a team as the season went on and just we were playing our best ball late. We just didn't have the performance we needed tonight. than this program has had in a while this season. Fair to say that you think you guys kind of continued that upward trajectory that you've been on the last four years? Uh, I think that's, um, that's the goal. That was the goal to continue to get better, and I thought we got better. Um, you know, every season that we've been here, we, we've increased our win total. Um, but again, uh, again, it's something that we'll look back and we'll reflect on over the next you know few weeks and you know over the summer as we continue to to try to to get even better. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're satisfied with, with where we are. We still we felt that we were a tournament team this year. We didn't quite make it, um, but you know this uh, um, you know get in the NIT and still be able to you know to win a game too and and. Um, uh, you know, have an opportunity like we had tonight, you know, and to play our last home game in front of our crowd. I mean, disappointed for them, disappointed for our fans, disappointed for our guys. I know that, you know, they had their, you know, their heart set on, you know, taking that next step and, and getting to the semifinals of this tournament. But it wasn't in the cards for us. Um, but definitely proud of, of their effort, proud of everything that um, our guys um, battled through this year. I mean, it's, it's a long season. You know, it's a lot. Lot goes on in the season. A lot, lot of different things changes, but but I think the changes that our guys made, um, as far as just um, uh, just just coming in every day and helping us get to this point. You know, I'm super proud of super proud of that fact. Our coaching staff, 
um, their families, you know, all the times that, that they give. It's, just, it's, it's a lot on, on everybody, you know, just the, the, the hours that we put in, the time and that we have invested in these guys. Um, but it's all worth it. It's all, all worth it when we, we have the moments like we had last game, the, the big wins that we had throughout the course of the season. But still, you know, disappointed um, tonight because we, um, you know, we just felt like we, we probably didn't, didn't perform the, the best that we're capable of. I thought we were really maybe a little too juiced up in the game. We got great looks at the, you know, at the beginning of the game that just didn't fall for us. We had a lot of shots around the basket that. Probably be tough to tough to, to swallow once we go back and look at it. And a lot of little, little little things that we rushed around the basket that could have been the difference in this game. But like I said, God has a plan for us, and it wasn't in our plans for us to um, to, to to conquer you know th this tournament. But I think He has bigger plans for for us and and in our program going forward. As you guys look to take that next step, is there anything that you kind of want to hammer home to your team this off season? No, we're just going to continue to get better. I mean, I think we've, um, there's guys that we've kind of identified, you know, uh, that we feel like coming in from, that, that's coming in um, as our, our recruiting class. Um, you know, obviously there are going to be some changes. You know, it's just the, the, the way that the world is. We're going to, you know, probably have, you know, some, some transfer portal guys, things that we're, we're going to look at and take part of. I mean, it's just, just the new world that we live in. So it's just a part of it that we got to, you know, pick up, you know, um, Pick up where we, you know, where we left off right here, but definitely, um, you know, just just tough right now because I just, you know, really really felt that you know we, we had a great opportunity tonight that, that we let let slip away, but that was gone and now now we focus on the outlook of continuing to get better, continuing to you know use this off season um, to to improve individually um, and and continue to take another step to to, to make the tournament. Coach. Sure. Very passionate coach, and you've, you've been very passionate about the success of your team and your players this year, especially the back end of the season. How would you kind of describe how different the emotional journey was with this team this year prior to your previous seasons? Well, I mean, I think you deal with things throughout the you know the year. I mean, but I don't know if there was ever really probably those early years the expectations, you know, and then probably you know, like you said, we was finished the pick. You know, next to last, you know, in our conference, you know, it'd be, be hard pressed for for any of you to go back and look at your preseason um, SEC picks and, and and say that you had us finishing, you know, fourth in our in our league. Um, so, but I think from that standpoint, that we, you know, we're proud of that. We're proud of how we got there. Um, um, you know, I think that you know there's some things that we we'll look at as far as just you know, you know things that maybe hurt our net or hurt the the reasons that we didn't get in with you know with, with the record that we have that we would try to make some of those um, corrections you know going forward. But you know we you know from the world that I come in, when you're playing your best basketball at the end, you win the most games. The teams with the best records is normally the ones that that get in. So, um, uh, uh, but again, that's a learning curve for me too. To, to, to understand how we have to um, strategically attack um, the season from the beginning um, to the end to, to make sure we give ourselves the best chance to um, to be one of the teams um, taken from our conference. The corrections that you mentioned, I imagine some of that's like playing better early in the season. What you know, what's running through your mind in terms of uh, ways that you know opportunities for you guys to improve there next season? I don't think we played awful in the season. I think we got better. You know, we we weren't ready to play better. We came. We, we were a team that was um, one player had the most usage, um, probably in the country last year. One of the top usage in the country. So we had to figure out who who we were. Um, and those those things take time. Uh, take time to understand your team, your dynamic. It was great that we had the, the the European trip this year. I thought that helped us. We probably would have been even further behind, you know, trying to figure out those things. I had to, you know, have guys grow into some roles, you know, that that they, you know, just weren't ready to to assume at the beginning of the year. Um, you know, far from a scheduling standpoint, um, I thought, you know, I, I, I was thinking the strength of schedule would be something that if we were um, if things were in the balance, that that would be a positive for us. That wasn't a positive for us. So it's like, you know, wh why do we go and, you know, we scheduled, you know, the VCUs, and, you know, the, these, these mid, mid majors team, good mid major teams, feeling like that, that would help us, you know, one way or the other, but it didn't. So uh, we, we'll take a, a, a deeper look into that, you know, but I think that, you know, from, from that formula, if it doesn't, it hurts mid majors. You know, we're not going to go play those games. It, it makes no sense for us to do so. So I, I think, um, 
but again, that's just a, a bigger conversation that, that we'll have internally. Um, and then maybe the, the, some other some other things that we probably possibly get, could look at uh, as well. But um, it, we, we take solace in the fact that um, you know there's, there's three teams that finish worse than us in our league, with, with worse records that we beat, um, that had an opportunity to, to advance. So I, I don't I, I don't know much that you change from that. You know, but but yeah, but, but we'll, we'll we'll see. Obviously, you haven't had a chance to fully reflect on this year, but when you look back at the lows and then the highs in February, and just what this group meant, uh, what are you going to remember from this team? No, again, I don't. I don't really see lows. I just feel I feel growth, and we're and part of our building, part of our process. You know, you you guys talk about. You know, that they, uh, I think it's disrespectful. Disrespectful to talk about a bad loss to Grambling. Grambling was better than us at that time. You know, Grambling won their league. You know, I mean, this new day and age of you know, um, six-year seniors. I mean, eventually that stuff will pan out. We played a bunch of six-year seniors tonight. You know, what I'm saying so. You know, to have. Uh, you know, Paul Lewis to get that experience. Who's you know, you know, to our freshmen to come in and play against, you know, these old dudes. You know, what I'm saying it, 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 ain't, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be that way always. You know, what I'm saying and it's actually hampering um, the overall game. You know, high school high school talent. You know, they, they're not looked upon the same right now. But I think it'll gradually, you know, get back to that way once these. You know, I think next year it'll be the last year of the COVID year. Um, and, and then you start to see that that balance kind of kind of trend back in, but um, you know, but we're, again, we'll we'll be you know we'll, we'll be as as active as anybody in, in trying to define the pieces to to help us you know win you know uh, in the in the you know in the presence you know what I'm saying so we, you know we we could be looking at some grad transfers too we you know, take advantage of the rules while you can but at, but at the same time we know that ultimately our model is to to develop you know and I think that that's the we we want not only just from a basketball the standpoint we want to develop young men we want them to come here and 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 and, and get better and um, and grow. Um, not only on the basketball court, but but, but as young citizens as well. So um, we, we're always going to be a little bit different. I know that, and and, uh, and it's something that I'm very very proud of. Coach, what did you tell your team in the locker room after the game? Just that uh, that we were proud of, you know, that they should hold their heads up proud. We fought to the very end. We didn't have our best night tonight. We didn't have the best performances that we know that we're capable of. Um, maybe we were a little too jacked up at the beginning of the game. Um, but, again, give that team credit. You know, they made the plays. They did the things that um, that they needed to to, to, to win the game. Um, and, but it's no – uh, it wasn't from a lack of effort, and, and, I, and, I, and I told them that I really feel that, that our future is bright if we continue to to take the um, you know just this this feeling. You, know, you got to you take these negative feelings, these bad feelings that we have right now. You know, look at look look down at the box score, look look in the mirror, and say what could I could could I have done better, um, and, and work on those things this summer. So if we get in this situation again, that that that'll be the motivation to not feel like this again. So it's, it's sports. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna have these these moments where um, you know it feels like you you're never gonna win again. But you know we we had some spells this year where we felt like we weren't gonna lose again, and I think that that's a, that's a positive for our group. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. I have a great.